how not to start up a conversation and what I'm doing today is I'm covering a, a topic that has been covered by many dating coaches and relationship experts where they talk about how to start up a conversation. I'm going to debunk from my personal experience uh, most of the ways that these other people out there are telling you how to start up a conversation through my own personal experience of approaching I don't know how many girls and trying to start up conversations with thousands of girls from my experience what the general consensus out there that most dating coaches will tell you is in my opinion wrong uh, and I'm going to cover these and I'm going to try and debunk it and pitch my case why I don't think that these are the best ways to start up a conversation. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit, novel dating advice to the modern man. If you want to know my life story, my book's there. And in the description, I have a 30 day challenge where I cover a lot of these topics. I've got 40 videos in a digital product that's only $30. Uh, dollar a day and it covers uh, I got 40 videos in there that cover this exact problem that men have how to start up a conversation now how to start up a conversation and what problems are is happening with the uh, the other coaches advice now one of the most common ones that uh, coaches tell you how to start up a conversation this is one uh, is you go over there and you give her a compliment. So you, you go over to the girl and you say, hey, you're, I think you're adorable, I think you're pretty, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think that you should be going over to a girl and giving her a compliment. Uh, that's very direct, it's very in your face, you're showing your intention, I get it. Uh, but by approaching her in the first place, uh, unless this girl is not very socially aware, which most girls are, uh, she's going to know that you are interested uh, in her as soon as she realizes that you're not asking for directions, you're not asking for anything, you're just coming over to meet her. Uh, as soon as that happens, she's going to know that you are interested. So going over and complimenting a girl, although it might make you feel like you're getting something done, you know, showing uh, intent to the girl. I disagree. I don't think that this is the best way for you to uh, start up a conversation because what it does is you are objectifying her. You're telling her that she is pretty. That's why you're talking to her. Uh, you are only attracted to the body and her physical appearance. Uh, and what you're pretty much saying is that's the most important thing about her to you and so you're going to go over and tell her <clears throat> she's attractive now many men <laughs> are taught this and i just think that it doesn't work because you objectify her one and two when a woman hears that she's going to say oh thank you but what is she really feeling well she's feeling that you're attracted to my body and so is every other man if she's an attractive girl, everybody's attracted to her. So what you're doing is you're telling her that you are not very socially aware because everybody's attracted to her. What do you think would be going on in her subconscious? Well, duh, dummy, I know I'm attractive. Kind of, right? You go over to an attractive girl and tell her she's attractive. Why would you need to do that? Okay, so you're objectifying your one, two, you're showing that you're not very socially aware. And three, I think the the problem with going over and telling a girl that, that you're attracted to her, there's no mystery there. She's got you. She has all the power. She owns you, boom. She's the one with the power. You're looking up at the powerful girl who is above you. You're putting her up on a pedestal and uh, how can you get a girl at that stage? Uh, girls want to be with a man on their level or above them. Uh, a more attractive man, a more powerful, a more successful man than what they are. Uh, and if you're going over and complimenting her, it doesn't really uh, project that at all, does it? Now, if you think about it, uh, if 
if she knows that you are very powerful, if you're a billionaire, you're a famous actor, you're a rapper or some sort of sports star that she knows and watched on TV and she's already fawning over, over you, she's like, oh, you're so hot, you're so awesome. And then you turn to her, you look down and go, hey, I think you're pretty cute too. She's like, oh, really? You see, you, you've already got the status and the power and you're above her. But if you go over and you put her up on a pedestal, she doesn't know who you are. You're objectifying her. You're showing her that you're not very socially aware and you're putting her up on a pedestal. How do you uh, uh, create attraction when she's already got you off the first thing that you say? Okay, so that's one. Now, two. Two is another thing that I see a lot of guys uh, doing. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, dating coaches out there that say that you should do this as well. Go over there and put your hand out and say, nice to meet you, I'm Dave. Why are you shaking the hands of a girl like you're in a business meeting or something? It, it just creates the wrong impression of the, the first interaction with her. If you're in a nightclub, do you go over and go, Nice to meet you. How's work? Uh, uh, shaking a girl's hand is too formal. It's too business-like. And it's not very attractive. I don't know. I'm sure some guys out there um, might have had success by going over to a girl going, Hey, I think you're really pretty. Nice to meet you. And the girls still dated them and they've, uh, they've become, you know, they've got married. I'm sure we've, we've had that happen. Uh, because sometimes uh, anything can work, right? Sometimes anything can work. Uh, but overall, uh, I'd say if you get, gather a large enough sample size, I don't think that this would work. And from my experience, and from my experience uh, via the experience of other men that I've either coached or watched uh, do this, it has not worked. It has set the wrong frame for the whole conversation. It's very business-like. Uh, and uh, I've even tried this myself. And then the girl, not long afterwards, will say, hey, do you have a business card? I'm like, hang on, um, this isn't a business conversation. I'm not here to make business with you. And she's asking for a business card because I shook her hand and uh, I tried out what most of the dating coaches out there will tell you, shake a hand. Three, now the uh, another one uh, which I think I see quite often out there which I definitely disagree with, just this, these three are just off my own experience and um, seeing whether it does work with other men. I just want to let you know, if you want to try these things it's fine but in my personal experience, they do not work and I'd recommend that nobody does them. Three is going over there, hi, I think you're pretty, shaking a hand and justifying. Oh, I'm, I was over with my friends and I, I saw you over here and I had to come over here to, to meet you because I was over there um, or I was walking over here and I, you know, I, I'm just here and I've got nothing else to do. I'm just in the area. I'm, Justifying your existence as a man is a very low value thing to do. So going over and complimenting her, putting her up on a pedestal, low value. Uh, going, o going over and, ex and justifying why you went over to say hello is also very low value. So if she was to ask you why did you come over, then of course you answer the question. But you don't preempt that in the first 10 seconds. Uh, because I guess a, a lot of guys, they will, it will be part of their routine. They will have a canned, uh, canned line and, and a script uh, when they're trying to meet women. And part of their script would be something like, oh, I think you're really pretty. I was over here. I had to come over. They justify it. They put them on a pedestal. And they're, they're coming from such low value off the conversation starter uh, that it's hard to climb back up and get on a, a level uh, playing field with her and she instantly thinks that you are low low value by doing that. Even if you are um, 
very well dressed, very attractive, very tall, handsome, jacked man. If you go over and you behave like this, she might see you as visibly high status, but when you project low status, she's gonna think, hang on, something's not connecting with this guy. It doesn't quite, maybe, you know, maybe he just looks good today, but most of the, most of the time he's low status and he's not the type of guy I should be hanging out with. Uh, so these are three things that I, I think that if you can stop doing them, um, it will improve your conversation starters with women. So if you like this video, click the subscribe button and uh, click the bell icon so don't miss out on any future videos that I'll be making. In the description, I've got the 30 day challenge. It's a dollar a day for 30 days, unlimited for the rest of your life. I've got 40 videos or more in there and written little exercises where you need to write down what you've been up to every now and then. Uh, I think it's I think it's quite valuable uh, for the price point. It's pretty pretty much dirt cheap uh, for what it is, yet it is very valuable. Uh, and I have a lot of experience, so I put a lot of my experience into that. It actually took me a while to make this uh, really cheap product. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.